tried to expand the war by launching a new offensive in the... In the ongoing conflict between Ukraine and Russia, a Ukrainian drone strike killed at least five people, including two children, in the Russian village of Gorodishche on the border with Ukraine. Meanwhile, a Russian attack on a residential building in the Ukrainian city of Dnipro resulted in one fatality and 12 injuries, including a seven-month-old girl. The attacks come as Russia continues to launch airstrikes on Ukrainian infrastructure, targeting energy facilities and causing significant damage. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said that the country has lost 80% of its thermal power and a third of its hydroelectric power due to Russian strikes. However, in a rare positive development, 10 Ukrainians held prisoner by Russia for years were released with the mediation of the Vatican and arrived in Kyiv on Saturday. The group included civilians and religious figures, some of whom had been detained since before Russia's attack on Ukraine in 2022. There are a lot of our men. I've already said this, and girls and women are there. They need help, concrete help. They are waiting for this help. And I also ask the world, the world to react even more. The released prisoners were reunited with their families at Kyiv International Airport, which had been closed since the start of the war. They spoke of the harsh conditions they endured in captivity and expressed gratitude to those who had worked for their release. <laughs> the physical conditions, they are very terrible and these are people who need help, just like our whole country. You know, at some point I just stopped asking people what they were going through because hearing all these stories about torture, psychological pressure and so on, it's very hard to just take it anymore. And each story is both similar and unique in itself. And so, I think that I really want to get stronger as soon as possible and start writing to those guys I met. To write and, as I said, to share with them the hope that I have now, being free, being on my native land among friends. Despite this positive development, thousands of Ukrainians remain imprisoned in Russia and the conflict continues to cause significant human suffering on both sides.